this announcement by the FDA to ban most artificial colors. Did you, did you see this? I did. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, it was, it's actually kind of a big deal. I mean, there's artificial coloring in a lot of stuff that's been used for a long time. And I actually went way deep on this uh, yesterday and, and have an article that came out on LinkedIn. Um, if people want to check it out, but basically what we've done is we basically said that, Hey, you know, these artificial colors, uh, we don't want them in our food anymore. And so there's a, a focus to getting rid of these artificial colors. Uh, by 2026, and so relatively short time frame. Especially when you think about, okay, I've got all this inventory. I've got to reformulate all my products. I've got to make sure this works. I've got to produce it. So it's a pretty aggressive timeline from that perspective. But this this move really brings the U.S. in line with most other markets around the world. Um, you know, artificial coloring was was banned in some countries starting in the 80s and the 90s, and so the U.S. is pretty late to the game in this sense. But what was fascinating to me was what's going to happen next. And so what you're going to see is this massive rush on reformulations. Every large food company, every small company is going to have to go through and reformulate their products. And there are just simply not enough natural colorants uh, out there to do it. I mean, in some cases, we're going to need 5x the amount of, uh, you know, different types of roots and things like that will go through. And so there'll be a push on this. There, there will be costs that go up just until that supply chain can be uh, recognized. If you had to guess which color is going to be the most difficult to see and maybe 18 to 24 months, what do you think it would be? My gut says red, but who knows? <laughs> you get a lot of red from like beetroots and stuff like that, but uh, actually blues is going to be the hardest thing. And so I, I think you'll, you you know, if you start looking at Fruit Loops or other things like that, you know, they're going to be a different color or they're not going to be as blue as they have been uh, just because that's a, a difficult color to, to make and to hold. And of course, when you've got these natural dyes, you've got to think about the pH and you know, do these dyes fade in sunlight? Uh, you know, what's the half-life of them, all those sorts of things. So there's a lot of things, and this is going to be a, a pretty monumental uh, change that's happening as a result of, of this decision.